Hey, what it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ, and today we back with another little video, man. As you can see, man, we in the confessional here at Steady Eddie, man. Steady Eddie out here in Norman, Oklahoma, man. So if you in the college town, you are just leaving the game, and you need to stop by and get your medicinal man, just pull up. Where are we at? 136 Al Mundro Boulevard, right off of Main Street. Right off of Main Street, you hear me? All right, so, man, yeah. Got the shirts, man. I might have to look for one. <laughs> hey, check me out, though. I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute. Go on and check out this video. It happened to my son. There is no if and buts about anything happening to my son at all. So the nightmares that my son was having, and this is on record because he's a therapist, is of a brown-skinned, bald guy busting in his room to kill him with a knife. You got on the internet. I never got on the internet and said I lied. I never lied about nothing. That's not what I said. David backed me in a fucking corner. My son took his story back in front of David and then he peed in his pants. In front of David? Yes, he peed in his pants. Why would you allow your son he in front of in David? His pants because the David person cornered who me. allegedly molested because your son. Because David cornered me. David How cornered me. How would he corner me. you and he was on the phone? We're not going to do this. You it's can't safe. come to my show and tell me to shut the fuck up. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing when you let your nuts what it do everyday people man it's your boy pj today we are back with another lit video you guys and as you can see by the title and the thumbnail this shit is getting out of hand ftn bay we have no idea who she is i don't even know what ftn stands for but i'm gonna tell you like this this bitch is on a world tour to Gain popularity and slander OTF Duty Low's name. Okay? A world tour. This is probably her third interview. And if you can see by the first clip, she has gone off the rails on Tasha K. So I'm about to tune in. I don't even know who this chick is. But I do know OTF is a uh, gang in Chicago. So OTF Duty Low is from Chicago. Has some relations to Lil Durk and... Um, the rest of the OTF, uh, Chief Keith, I don't know if he's OTF, but I can hear it in the song. Now, I don't know if this is a gang. I don't know if this is a rap group. Uh, I don't know if it's some projects in some dusty-ass sh Chicago neighborhood. I have no idea. I'm going to call the neighborhood Dusty because I don't see nothing but dusty shit come out of there. Like, FTN Bay and OTF Duty Low. And then all the trash and garbage that comes out in their music. Like, and all the murders, and all the dissing online, and all the bullshit that comes out of OTF. This is why I say, like, I seen OTF Duty Low on the No Jumper podcast, and I briefly spoke on this situation. But I'm going I'm to go into it with you guys that OTF Duty Low, I don't know none of his music. In fact, I don't know why he's on platforms talking about music or talking about anything because he needs to be clearing up these allegations. I know they're just allegations, okay? That's all good and fine. But how do you continue to run your life when you got shit like this going on in your, over your head? Like, I don't care if she lied on you. Bro, don't put yourself in this position ever again. This is why I tell men all the time, like, be know who the fuck you dealing with. Because once you start dealing with that person, you don't know where this person going to take you. When it, when it comes down to it, like... What is their relationship like? We already know that there's a lot of violence in the home just by the conversations and uh, just by hearing the uh, interviews that they've had. There's been multiple uh, violent situations in this home around these kids. The kids that she's, uh, you know, supposed to be protecting. The kids that, that he allegedly touched, one of the boys. And the fact that we got a... Um, listen to this bullshit on Tasha Katie's show. Like, bitch, you're not even famous. FTN Bay. First of all, you're not a bay. You not. You can only be a bay if you have a significant other. And your significant other is the only person that's supposed to call you bay. What does FTN stand for? Is she a IG model? Is she a rapper? Is she a musician? Who the fuck are these people? And why are we interviewing these people? But I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to tell you what, I'm not going to go too hard on these people because of the situation and the allegations. And who knows who's lying? The kid may be lying. The mama may be lying. I would say the mama's lying no matter what because the mama's 
these bitches is fucking crazy. The kid may be have the kid may have been traumatized, and the fact that uh, Duty Low is threatening the mama in front of the kid, and the mama brought the kid in front of the the dude is like, why would you bring this man around your kid if he supposedly hurt him? Do you think he wants to look his his uh the person who took away his innocence, his perpetrator, his victimizer. You think he wants to look him in the face and look at him and say, you hurt me? He is scared out of his mind. What the fuck is wrong with this FTM Bay? Girl, you are the dumbest bitch I've known since my baby mama. You are not smart. You need to take some lessons in life before you go get into another relationship with another guy, bringing another guy around your kids, because obviously... You did not bet this nigga. First of all, his name is OTF Duty Low. You called him something like Darren. Okay. Listen, fire him. Fire your whole uh, staff, everybody who works for you, who got you going to Tasha K's platform to tell your side of the story. Fire everyone. Fire anybody who. Fire your service, your uh, cell phone service provider because they let your stupid ass get on the internet. And put that sob ass story out. No one believes you. Do you get this? No one believes you. So you need to just stop. You need to stop going on this world tour. You're not getting famous. You know, figure out another outlet. Because this right here, fame life, is not for you. You are, the fame life is not for duty low. Y'all both is reaching for clout from, like, why do you bring this on Tasha K's platform? Like, Motherfucker, Dr. Phil? Nigga? D did he retire or something? Why are you going to here? You should be going to the top. I would not be going to the bottom. That bitch just got sued. She just got sued for nothing. And you want to go to her platform? Bitch, go to Dr. Phil. All right, everyday people, man. I'm tired of going off on stupid motherfuckers. But sometimes you got to give them where you feed them. You know what I'm saying? Bottom feeders. Meet them at the bottom, meet them at the bottom. Everyday people, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll holler at you later. Peace. <laughs>